hey what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so i was challenged to do a ass whipping story time by your boy nesby so we're gonna get into the story time of the two times that i got my ass whooped so the very first time that i got my ass whooped i was in elementary school I was in third grade, and it was picture day. Picture day was coming up. I was always a defiant child, <laughs> and I did things because I wanted to. So, I had gotten in trouble that week, and my mother was like, you know what? You're not taking no pictures because you, you don't act right. You, you're not doing good in school. You, you're being that You're not behaving. So I was like, all right, bud. So at the time, I had a para. You know, that's a person that, you know, helped you because at the time I was, you know, it, I wasn't in special ed anymore. I was in inclusion. But, I, you know, I had a para. And I love this lady to death. So I went to school that day. That pic that day was picture day. I went to school. I was like, and I was a liar, a good liar. <laughs> so I went to school, and I was like, Miss So and So. I'm gonna call her Miss Monica. Miss Monica. My mother said that um. I couldn't take pictures because she didn't have no money. That was not even the truth. My mother said, you can't take no pictures because your ass ain't do right in school. And I went to school and I told this lady that my mother ain't had no money. So I couldn't take no pictures. So, mind you, I wasn't dressed for picture day. My hair wasn't done for picture day nothing i went there with some regular clothes my hair was 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 done i think a week before and you know it wasn't redone because my mother really meant what she said you're not taking no pictures so there's no point of you getting your hair done nothing like that my hair was a mess it really wasn't a mess but it just i just was not prepared take no pictures so went to school that day seen everybody was taking pictures i was tight so i was like she said i can't take no pictures because she can't she she can't pay for them you know this lady paid for my pictures <laughs> yo so i wound up taking pictures she called my mom and was like, you know, Temperance told me that, you know, you couldn't pay for them. So, you know, I paid for her to take pictures. I asked you to do all that, lady. I said. You really going to do that to me? You really going to tell mama this? <laughs> this was supposed to be a thing between me and you. So, I don't know what my mother was saying on the other end of the phone, <laughs> but it didn't matter because my parents still felt bad for me because I couldn't take pictures. I did not want to go home that day. <laughs> I did not want to go home that day. So, my mother, I got home. And, um, I think at the time my mom was working. Yeah, my mom was working. So I got home and I stayed with a neighbor who was my babysitter at the time. And she got home. It was clipped me. <laughs> so, 
when I heard that buzz it ring, and my neighbor told me, was like, it's your mom, come on, get ready. I knew from that point on <laughs> that I that I effed up. <laughs> so you know how black mothers, right? Some, but not all. They don't they don't embarrass you right then and there in front of people. They wait until is they get you alone. When that lady closed that door, <laughs> it was over. So you told that motherfucking lady that I couldn't pay for no motherfucking pictures. And I told you that you wasn't taking no motherfucking pictures because you didn't act right in school. Where did you get out? Child, I only lived on the second floor above the lady, above my, my babysitter. Child, when I tell you, I did not want to go home. I did not want to go. <laughs> I did not want to go home that day. She was like, "Get upstairs." I got in my room. All I heard was, "Take all your clothes off." It was it. I got the ass whooping of all time. <laughs> Yo, that was an ass whooping for your life. She was like, if you ever do some sh like that again, and I tell you that you can't do something because I said so, and then you gonna go and tell somebody that. I told you you couldn't take no pictures. And... You lied. She had a belt on her hand. <laughs> Just ready. I told you, you could not take no. You know that that beating that you get that the in, in the words gotta go with the beating. <laughs> That's what I got, and I was just like. I wasn't even in pain. The belt didn't even hurt. Like, I, I wasn't even think. I, like, it didn't phase me because I was the type of child that I did what I wanted to. <laughs> I did what I wanted to regardless of how anybody felt. And I think that's why that day, it really didn't phase me. That beating really didn't phase me. But I never, I never did nothing like that again for the simple fact that one, uh, at that point, I was like, I can't trust this lady because she can't keep her mouth closed because I ain't tell her to tell nobody nothing about nothing. I just want to take my pictures in peace and call it a day. <laughs> so, that, that, that day, that day was bad. <laughs> but I got my pictures out of it. It looked a mess. I looked a hot mess. But I got my pictures that day. And I was happy. <laughs> I was happy. Another time. Another time. That. I really didn't get my ass whooped. But I got in some big ass trouble. <laughs> um. And this was a little bit more painful than the ass at this point. Me and my cousin were at her house. And we were about like 9 or 10. And my grandmother was um, asleep. And she, her friend who lived with her was asleep as well. And me and my cousin were bored. So, we took it upon ourselves to go into the bathroom and to go and call the cops <laughs> and make false calls to the police. Me not knowing that the cops, I'm so dumb 
not knowing that the cops could trace the call and the phone numbers and and trace where you where you live right we're calling the police and calling the police and calling and making prank phone calls to the cops and the cops kept coming and the, the cops no the cops the cops came eventually and they banged on the door and um my mother's friend my grandmother's friend who who lived with her answered the door and the police came and was like you know we got some phone some disturbing phone calls from someone saying that they were hurt and something was being, something was being done somebody was um being killed and chased or something 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 we said mind you we kept calling so my grandmother finally came downstairs and she came out the room or whatever and she was like what's going on oh we kept getting we kept getting phone calls from this number from this house saying that there was something going on in here we just wanted to make sure everything was okay me and my cousin my grandmother's old (laughs) at the time she was old and the guy that the, the person that was living with her they were old so you know they, they, they ain't putting two and two together. <laughs> so, we decided to lie on my aunt, who, I don't know why we did it, but we did it because it was funny. And we lied on her and said, we don't know, we didn't call any police, we, we was outside. And um, maybe it was so-and-so, maybe aunt so-and-so called, and my grandmother believed it. So, I think two days had went by, and my stupid self, I had this little diary, and I wrote in the diary that um that we had called the cops. <laughs> I wrote a lot of things in that diary that that the over over the time of being over there, I wrote things like I hate being over here. It's boring. Um, and um, and the infamous, we called guys. <laughs> so my grandmother was doing laundry. Me forgetting that I had the, the little diary in my back pocket of my jeans. And I put it in the hamper. <sighs> so she found the little diary in my back pocket. And all I could hear was, I was like, so she was like, so you, y'all call, y'all the ones that called the cops? Y'all the ones that called the cops? And y'all making me think that your aunt did it and she didn't do it and y'all was doing it the whole time? I'm calling your mother. Actually, I dig in my ass with <laughs> Yes, I did. I got my ass whooped, and so did my cousin. So, we got our asses whooped. Y'all calling the cops, and y'all doing this, and y'all doing that, and and y'all blaming it on so-and-so, and that's not right. Why would you do that? So, after we got our asses whooped, my mother was like, you know what? I got something even better for y'all now. Y'all gonna go downstairs. Y'all gonna each write on a piece of paper a hundred times. I will not call the police. And y'all are gonna do it and y'all gonna write it neat. And y'all are gonna write it until it's done correctly. Y'all are gonna write it and y'all not gonna go to sleep until all of it is done. Boy, when I tell you that my ass was hurting in my hands I wrote that shit until I think I we wrote though we wrote that until a good one o'clock in the morning we did not we could not go to sleep until it was done we wrote that we wrote it a hundred times and we had to write it neatly 
and I'm left-handed, so once I, my hands start getting tired, I start writing any type of way. I don't care, but I had to write that neatly. P exclamation marks, uh, periods, at any everything had to be on points. <laughs> so she was like, "Yeah, you don't like that, do you?" I was like, "Nah, not really." <laughs> So, that was the last time I ever did that. <laughs> and, um, those were my two times that I got my ass whooped. And, um, I challenge Shanice Shenanigans and my favorite Jelly Bean to an ass whooping story time. I challenged the both of you. And I cannot wait to see y'all stories. So, if you liked this video, make sure that you, uh, like I was saying, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share a story about the time that you got your ass hooked, because I would really like to hear y'all stories. Um, make sure you share this out. And I will see y'all later. In a while, yeah, you were impressed. Couldn't leave me alone, text me every time.